Yo, wise guy, give me back my beef. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. What the? So cuddly, and so gosh darn cute. But pets aren't all fun and games. Pets are messy. Pets are wild. And pets are not very durable. Say goodbye to ordinary pets, and say hello to Slither Buddies. Slither Buddies are safe, clean, and cute as a button, guaranteed. Slither Buddies aren't snakes. They're amazing, color-changing reptiles made through the miracle of genetic modification. I played with nature. Now you can play with them. Slither Buddies, the pet of the future today. Genetically modified reptiles? I guess nobody bought Professor Skinner's Martian Detector 5000. Abby, you're missing the point. Messing with nature is dangerous. Come on. It's just another one of Skinner's wacky inventions. Who's gonna actually buy some weird Frankensnake? <laughs> oh. From the looks of it, everybody. Rosologists! A monster has attacked a meatpacking plant! <laughs> a big, scary, inhuman monster! <laughs> Go find it! Well, whatever it was, it's long gone now. Hmm. But it left us a present. Ooh, what is this stuff? It's mucus. Like something started to eat and then bleh, barfed it up again. <laughs> Yuck. Check it out. Bite marks. Fang marks. There's only one fang creature that regurgitates food like this, a snake. And judging from the width of these fang marks, it's a big one. A giant snake, huh? How are we gonna find this thing? Easy. Snakes digest everything except hair, which they later excrete. Find the hairy snake poop, find the snake. Pointless Trends magazine calls Slither Buddies the must-have accessory of the year. People have gone crazy for these colorful cuties. Hi. Can we your slither buddy? Which one? I have a slither buddy to match every color in my wardrobe. This one is Puse and this one is Chartreuse. Puse matches my bag and Chartreuse matches my shoes. <laughs> That's horrible. Those are living creatures, not fashion accessories. Who cares if they were created in a lab? They're still... Huh? a good boy. Happy? Yes. Happy's a good boy. Hmm. Happy no sign of the giant you? snake here. So... <sighs> Could you please stop it with the baby talk? He can't hear you. Snakes don't even have ears. Yeah, but he knows what I'm saying. Don't you, Happy Wappy Woo? <sighs> Cosologists! A large, malodorous ball of air! was found outside the greenhouse. Of course. 
Warm, humid, the perfect spot for a cold-blooded snake to hold up. <laughs> Abby, are you getting this? Hmm? Sorry, sir. Happy was just making the cutest face. See? Ow! Give it away! Give it away! Give it away! <laughs> oh, Abby, the Slither Buddy hype got to you, too? What? They make good pets. Ha! You want to see a real pet in action? Check this out. I modified a remote-controlled truck for Hermes. <laughs> Just look at him go. <laughs> Let's see a Slither Buddy do that. A Slither Buddy isn't dumb enough to do that. <laughs> Focus, people. Now, how are we going to catch this monster snake? Sneak up on it. Snakes are attracted to movement and vibration. As long as you move really slow and quiet, it'll never see you coming. Uh, probably. Probably? What happens if it does? In that case, run! Remember, slow and quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Ah! oh. What? It was an accident. Uh-oh. Don't move. Maybe whatever it is won't notice us. I think whatever it is already has! <laughs> Let's give him a taste of goop! He's tough! Really tough! Hey! Where'd he go? There! Snake skin. Enough to make tacky footwear for a whole army. It must have shed it. Yeah, just before it shed us. Bag it and tag it. We've got a date with a microscope. You're telling me that this creature hisses like a snake, spits venom like a snake, but has two legs? Well, I'm telling you, this is definitely not a snake. So what is it? Some sort of two-legged lizard? Let's find out. Reptile scales are made of keratin, the same material as human hair and fingernails. I can use it to identify the... Whoa! These scales are as hard as a turtle shell. A giant, armored, venom-spitting, two-legged reptile? What kind of monster is this? I think I know where to find out. I'm here at Professor T.P. Skinner's lab, the place where Slither Buddy Mania began. And I've got to tell you, it's cold in here. It has to be. My lab contains genetic material that needs to be ice cold. And because reptiles are cold-blooded, low temperatures make them dormant and easy to handle. See? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that is nice. Right. So, Professor, how did you create these adorable cuties? With genetic modification, of course. It's really quite exciting stuff. Allow me. I take DNA from one species and insert it into the DNA of another species. The process allows me to recombine DNA sequences in order to alter genetic traits. Genetic modification lets me create wonderful new animals, animals that were never meant to be. Isn't this stupendous? Huh? 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 Oh, there you have it, Slither Buddies. Nature's man-made miracles! Man, cut! Ooh. Let's get out of here. I'm freezing. Oh, what can I do for my favorite grossologist? Got a sale of my portable mucus dryers. Very cheap, huh? Hey, we're not gonna... Really? How cheap? 
Uh, we're not here for gadgets. Professor, what do you know about a genetically modified reptile with chameleon, snake, and turtle traits? Only everything. That's the recipe for my Slither Buddies. Why? What do you make of this? It's reptile skin, but it can't be from a Slither Buddy. It has legs. Slither Buddies don't have legs. And it's huge. I specifically genetically modified them to be tiny. Unless... Huh? <gasps> Cuddles? Oh, this is bad. This is very, 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 very bad. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Scratch your back? Professor, you have to tell us. I'd know this scale pattern anywhere. It's from Cuddles, my hmm. first Slither Buddy. Cuddles was the prototype for every other Slither Buddy. Without him, none of these would even exist. But then he sort of escaped from the lab-ish. So Cuddles grew into a monster? But how? What makes him different from the rest of these Slither Buddies? Nothing. They're all made the same way Cuddles was. He's just... older. You mean you didn't study their entire life cycle? Well, I meant to, but there wasn't time. Everyone was clamoring for Slither Buddies, and, and then Cuddles disappeared, and, and then there was so much money to be made, and I kind of, sort of, skipped that part. Is it possible that your genetic engineering didn't work? No. Is it possible that you created a super reptile but got the staying little part wrong? No. Is it possible that every single one of those Slither Buddies out there is going to turn into this? Maybe. Oh, no. <gasps> <gasps> Sir, uh, we need to issue an emergency recall immediately. Recall? What sort of recall? Tainted tuna? Tickly toilet paper? Hmm. No, sir. We need to quarantine every Slither Buddy in town. What? Take away Sir Fang a lot? <laughs> oh, no. Even you have one? How could I resist? They're so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> Aren't you snooky wooky wooky? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sir, you have to get rid of it. Forget it. You just want him for yourself because they're sold out everywhere. Well, I'll never give him up. Do you hear me? Never. Don't worry. I'm sure once we calmly explain the situation to people, they'll understand. <laughs> It's for you. Ow! Oh, good. Get your wounds, Slither Buddy! Huh? Excuse me, young lady, but I'm uh, I'm afraid I, I have to confiscate those. Uh, what? Uh, oh, you, you can't! <laughs> hmm. Couldn't I just keep this one? Look at those beautiful baby soft scales. Huh? Ew! Mr. Smoothie, you have gunk in your eyes! And is that <gasps> dry skin? Oh. Help! My Slither Buddy's being gross! No, he's being huge! Everybody running? Uh, Ty? Page. Can you blame them? Molting takes a lot of energy. Those guys must be hungry. So let's feed them. Thanks, but I prefer my limbs attached. Think about it. With the right bait, we can lure them anywhere. Like back to the professor's lab. 
That place is so cold, it'll turn them into snakesicles. All we need now is the perfect giant snake bait. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy. I've got something bigger in mind. will work. Only one way to find out. The rat disguise is working. The slither buddies are coming out. Snakes use their tongues to smell, and thanks to that stink potion I created from Hermes Sweat, all they can smell is rat. Huh. They're not the only ones. Woohoo! Ah! Slither buddy, twelve o'clock. Hold on. Almost there. Should be any second now. I think you broke my bows. Professor? Uh, you shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. I wanted to test my new predator radar. I call it Predar. Hey, it works! Oh. Shh. Abby, come back. Abby, you didn't get rid of him. I, uh... He's so cute that maybe he wouldn't turn out like the other. Think again. Look! Happy, no. Not you too. This might be a good time to leave. Huh. to sell. Invent Slither Buddy Proof Door. Could be worth a fortune. <gasps> Unless I perish, which, uh, in which case, invent from beyond grave. <clears throat> Lab rat, help! Okay, okay. Just stay calm. Your best buds are moments away from being turned into reptile food. They need your help. They need... Hermes! <laughs> It was nice knowing you. No more field work for us. Okay, Slither Buddies, time for you to chill. It's working! The cold is putting them to sleep! We did it! Uh, oh no! It's. it's. Cuddles! Uh, uh, uh. Yo, Cuddles! Cool it! Frozen solid, just like the others. Cuddles, you have been a bad boy. A very, very bad boy. I'm so... Oh, who am I kidding? Welcome home. Mm 
Oh, um, little help? And while zookeepers struggle to feed the now thawed Slither Buddies, authorities are clearing out Professor Skinner's lab, which has been besieged by angry customers demanding their money back. We should be compensated for pain and suffering. Do you have any idea how traumatic it is to lose a key accessory? Leave it to Paige to make a citywide crisis all about her. Oh, it's all over. I'll never genetically modify reptiles again. Huh, that's good to hear. Because these are way better. Huh? Genetically modified great white sharks. I call them bitey buds. It's the lovable pet that never lets go of your heart. And occasionally your arm. Want one? Free of charge. Uh, no thanks. I learned my lesson. Uh, two, please. Huh? <laughs> Hi. What happened to not messing with nature? Oh, come on. Those were reptiles. These are bitey buds. Isn't that right? My cutie wooty little baby sharky. Ah! <sighs> Oh, <laughs> oh,